Afternoon guys, a windswept day down here at the Sunseeker shipyards, trying to get in a couple of more video tours before the winter break. And uh, just out on sea trials behind me this morning has been the first uh, Predator 55 Evo, who's just completing all her tests prior to loading off. This one's going to the Swiss lakes actually. Um, so I just spin the camera around behind me here. You recall a couple of weeks back, I did a quick look around the exterior and um, we're going to try and have a quick look around the 55s today. Um, I don't have a completely finished boat to show you, but I just think it's worth highlighting a few notable features on the boat uh, whilst we've got the opportunity. Obviously this model replacing the outgoing Predator 50. It's the same hull with a revised back end, larger engines. So we're now running the D11725 on shaft and we've got the, uh, a different platform and garage arrangement on the back, which we'll go and have a look at. Just some highlights from here. You can see those big stainless steel detailing on the uh, the whole windows, and we've got that new carbon fibre engine vent down the uh, the aft quarter with a nice stainless strip through it. Also, where we would run a parafill rail through the the guard rail, so that's the middle level of the uh, the stainless rail. There is now a solid bar, just increasing the quality all the time to make the boat that much more special. So let's head on round and take a look up close and personal. So here we are now around next to the boat. I'll just spin it around. You can see the new stern end. So we've got um, previous model Predator 50 was slightly tricky to get the tender in and out. Uh, tender dropped down, there was a roller shuttle system and then some additional rollers you had to put into the platform. Uh, the new boat here now has this sort of chute arrangement that you can see molded into the garage floor there so everything's sitting that much lower and there will be a roller system that fits through that middle center section there for for launch and recovery you can see the the winch up forward there and we've got the remote control a couple of uh, stainless steel sockets there for the aft sun awning and obviously see that door comes right up really high actually so there's loads of access in Well, we switch now as per the Predator 60 Evo, so we're on a synthetic teak style decking here, which the guys are just finishing the caulking on. Pros and cons obviously to real wood versus synthetic, which you can look up online. Just a little bit easier on the maintenance. So we just walk down the side now, you can see the detailing of these new stylized carbon engine vents. I say in this solid stainless steel band running down the boat. We've got some stainless steel detailing on the windows here. So it's a great looking boat, really aggressive, typical classic Predator lines. And then there's a couple of different layouts. We walk back into the cockpit area here. This boat's actually going out on sea trial again shortly, so we'll make this brief. So this is the optional bench seat arrangement. So we've got a a seat that runs across the back of the boat here. The table design is revised. So you can now see there's a lot more room to walk around the aft end of the cockpit. Obviously several different options. We'll have a look at how the wet bar version works in a minute. And then as per the Predator 50, that back seat will drop down into this gap here to make a big sunbed when you wish. Nice big wide walk deck so we can get all the way up forward here without having to shuffle along sideways. And you can see that big U-shaped seating area. And that bimini frame as well as an option to give protection from the sun when required. Uh, this particular boat's got the silver painted mullions here, you can see. Options also to do those black, all in the, uh, the standard cost of the boat. Uh, standard cost of the boat, incidentally, £890,000 ex-tax. Working up, uh, realistically, about 1.1 million ex-tax on the water with a nice spec. Uh, the guys are just doing some work inside, so I'm going to leave this one and we'll uh, check back in in a sec to check round another boat in the, in the shipyard here. Uh, so windows now, so you have to excuse if it's a little muffled with my mask on behind me. Uh, factory egg to while we're in here. So this is the boat that we saw a couple of weeks back in my preview. Uh, that's off to the States. She's about 505, just going through some final systems fitting and test prior to uh, onward shipping. You can obviously see now the boat 
out of the water here. We've got a proportional bow thruster up forward there. Again, a classic white with a black boot top stripe as per most Sunseekers built today. It's a hydraulic high-low bathing platform, 450 kilo lifting capacity on there, as well as the garage. So you can put a jet ski on the back if you wish. And we've got a proportional Sleipner stern thruster tucked in there. You'll see this additional section for aft stern lift. Let's head on up. And we'll just stick the camera in here. So you can now see that's the, the roller system I mentioned earlier for the tender makes the launching and recovery that much more straightforward. Nice space on the back here. There's an integrated seat in the back of the boat. Plenty of room on the back. There's a carbon fiber panel in the middle there just being finished off and there's a nice room to put your name, port, etc., on. You can see obviously stairwell access up both sides. Uh, if you have a passerelle, a letterbox passerelle fits in here. And then you've got your connections for dockside, electric, etc. See everything's covered up at the moment. Just as the guys finish off the systems. Uh, so this is the wet bar version. So you can obviously see here's the fridge, which will be sitting in that uh, starboard cupboard. And then the port cupboard will be the ice maker here. And then we've got a Kenyan electric griddle and a nice little sink. So just try and stand back so you can get a feel for the cockpit size. Lots of space. Um, there's room here behind the table. You can put a couple of director's chairs in here. And obviously, as per the Predator 50, we've got this big glass window that lifts into the ceiling, so that really makes the whole deck seamless. Merry Christmas, guys. James here from Sunseekers at Hampton down at the shipyard in Poole today uh, to do a viewing with a client. But whilst I'm here, behind me is the Predator 55 that we had a quick look at earlier last week. Uh, she's wrapped up as she's going on to transport later today and off to Switzerland before the end of the year. So here she is, boat 502. So this is a shipping cover you can see on top here. She's just sat in the slings whilst the guys remove the props and rudders off the bottom. So you can see the they're taking the props off so far, but for a bit of extra height on the transport, we've now actually got to remove what we call the P-brackets here. Take the shafts out of the boat. The rudders are out already. Just gives us a little bit more height to drop the trailer down onto the, onto the ground as low as we can for bridge height. Uh, so the interior is now completely finished. So just a great opportunity whilst I'm down here to have a quick look around. So let's check back in a sec when we're on board. So we're on board now up in the cockpit. You have to excuse the fact the cover's over the top, so we haven't got a massive amount of natural light in here. But you can see that's the radar chair stowed on the arm sunbed here. Obviously two different configurations we looked at. This is the fixed bench seat with storage under the back, like the old Predator 50, and there's an option for a wet bar sat in the corner there. And then with this backrest folded up into the seated position, you've then got clear deck space to walk through here in the cockpit. Just pop the door open. Uh, as per the Predator 50, this electric window retracts up into the roof, making the boat then a seamless one level inside and out. We now get to see that interior finished for the first time. Real wow factor in here. This is the new smoked sheen finish eucalyptus wood. Beautiful graining on there. Contrast lovely with the Fedorin hardwood silver oak floor see stowed for transport here so that's the table upside down lovely big u-shaped seating area here on the port side you can see how much light those big glass windows would let in on a sunny day and then we've got new lighting in the ceiling so these linear strip lights as well as these lovely little detail spotlights and um, AV pack on this side on the starboard so this is a 43 inch TV in a high low box and then beneath we've got drinks cupboard, that one storage. 
then we've got a fridge handy for drinks. That's the AV in the end there. We've got a nice little storage rack there for a few bits and pieces. Uh, as per the Predator 60 Evo, we've got these lovely new seats with the, uh, the inlaid detailing, so you can see here, nice little touches. And beneath that, this is a, a drop down platform, so it just gives a little bit more height when you're moving along and you need a, uh, the wind in your hair, you can open the roof up here obviously and get your head up above. So premium Simrad AV pack, so we've got the two recess flush mount displays there. Uh, obviously no in engine instrumentation up here, so everything's digital now up on the screens. Um, autopilot, CM8 monitoring panel here. Um, and then there's the performance hydrodynamic pack. So this is the Humphreys Active trim tab system. Also electric upgrade on the steering, just to make that hydraulic system a little bit more responsive. The upgrade to the stern thruster as well as the bow thruster proportional control and that lovely multi-function steering wheel which takes all the touchscreen off there and gives you control at your fingertips when you're running um, opening side window of course by the helm here just gives access when you're coming alongside and then opposite this lovely big l-shaped seating area so we can get four adults comfortably facing forward whilst you're underway little detail here that stainless steel strip running through the, the wood panel there and some nice stainless on top here. Uh, you'll see an iPad mini control there, which is for the audio system. And then if we come down, say covered this and the other, the other brief walk around the other day, but the boat was still only part finished. So now we get to see just how much space that revised galley is now giving us. Absolutely lovely down here. So this was previously a, a full height fridge with a, a cupboard above it which did make the galley quite closed off so we've now got an under counter fridge storage bin storage cupboard cutlery drawer above there's a good sized pan drawer there underneath the Miele convection oven, four burner electric top. And then on the end of the unit here, new design with the dishwasher. Lovely stone countertop. This looks really nice with two sort of angled tops there. Just gives a little bit of detail. Of course, that glass panel running through the, the bulkhead there. Uh, new controls here, touchscreen for the HVAC system and uh, new lighting controls from Weimar here as well for the dimmable system on board. And then up top, again, lovely stainless inlaid detailing. So this will be electrics. Yep, so mains, mains 230 volt panel, couple of storage cupboards, Royal Dalton crockery set up in the corner there. This will be an extractor above the hob. And then opposite, this is the option either to have a third cabin or the standard dinette configuration as you see it here uh, so we can do a different table if you want to have a drop down high low table with a fill-in cushion occasional double bed um, or you've got the option for a bulkhead to come across here and then we build two bunk beds into there this is obviously the most common standard option just with that open snug and a big 43 inch telly up on the bulkhead there clever use of mirrored panels here above and below just to give a little bit more feeling of space around you this is a lovely sprayed finish on here, so open that up. You can see it's obviously protected for, for the lucky new owner, but beautiful gloss finish on there. And then up top, lift up storage cupboards. Uh, some ant speakers up in the ceiling there, just to give you a little AV zone here. And then we've got two cabins, two heads. So we come forward, and as per the Predator 50, these are two single beds configured as a scissor arrangement, so they can slide together to make an island centerline double in here. 
we've got storage uh, there's a box in either end of the beds here so obviously everything's covered up at the moment but some very tasteful finishes in this one uh, high level locker boxes here either side of the bed so we've got storage up top here again with our speakers in the ceiling 43 inch telly on the on the wall there some lovely detailed panels here this particular boat's on eu sockets to say off to switzerland so wardrobe on the port side uh, up top we've got a big opening skylight with a blind and then as we come across this side uh, this is a jack and jill arrangement into this heads compartment so it doubles up as a day head also with the door here back out into the main saloon so we've got Tecmo vacuum flush toilets some nice finishes on the stone floor here and up onto the splashbacks we've got a, a cupboard a cupboard up top here and some storage underneath the basin of course a, a shower in the corner there with a, a soaker shower up in the roof standard fit these lovely stainless inlays in the doors here really tasteful i really like this eucalyptus wood i think we're going to do a lot of these next year and then we come back to the master um, it's full of cushions and as it's obviously a customer's boat i'm not going to take it all apart set it up today but uh, we've got detail here with the piping in the cushions this is done obviously in a gray gray color beautiful picture frame windows that we've seen on that new manhattan 55 and the 68 manhattan so we've got these led strips around the windows really finishes the boat off very nicely so starboard side here we've got two two little tub uh, chairs there's an option to have a table in here if you wish um, up on that aft bulkhead you can see that beautiful glass panel and then over on the port side of the boat we've got a linear sideboard uh, so these are storage cupboards a bit of safe in one of these as well as an option we've got some pull out bedside drawers nice little place to put your phone and what have you up top there with a the leather inlay nice little headboard lights really really tasteful love the uh, love the interior in here and then private ensuite again with the same finishes that we just saw in that front cabin so we've got a separate shower stall tucked in behind the door some slim line cupboards up top there a bit more storage beneath the sink so very nicely finished and so as you see her she, she's about 1.15 million x tax and um, specs this is a good spec boat med spec so we've got uh, aircon passerelle say the second plotter the um, stern thruster some av etc so it's a really good typical true um, on the water price uh, realistically apart from maybe a tender on the back some safety kit she's really much ready to go so this boat's obviously sold, built to spec to a client and off, I say, just before the end of the year to beat the Brexit challenges. Uh, but new builds, we can, we can provide one of these um, sort of into the late spring of 2021 season. So if you'd like to know a little bit more about her, please get in touch. It's james at sunseekersouthampton.com or my mobile is plus four four seven seven four seven six eight six five eight seven. So sorry, it's a brief tour today. It was just a great opportunity to actually see the boat finished for the first time. So a couple of those trips down over the last couple of weeks just to see the outside of the boat. But really now having seen the interior fully finished, real wow factor, I have to say this is gonna be a great product for us. And we really look forward to showing you around again more in the future. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you soon.